Hello there. In this video, I'd like to show you a few things you can do with animated 3D models in the Bluff Titler app. This tutorial uses three models, our alien mascot Bix from the installer and two free models from sketchfab.com. My name is Charlie. Let's get started. Let's start from scratch by clicking on the new show button. The new show has three layers. Delete the text layer by making it the active layer and clicking on the delete active layer button. In order to use the models, we have to download them first. Launch your favorite browser and go to sketchfab.com. Click in the search box, mark the downloadable and animated checkboxes and search for Walking Man. Yes, that's the guy. Preview the animation. Check the license and if it's OK, download the model in the GLB format. Then find ourselves a nice helmet. Again, check the license and download as GLB. Now that we have the models, go back to the Bluff Titler app. Click on the Add Model Layer button. To quickly jump to the Download folder, click on the Download button. Start with the Walking Man. The position can be adjusted with the Position property. The sliders can also be adjusted by clicking and dragging your mouse in the render window. Use the right mouse button to adjust the third slider. This works with all properties, including the rotation property. Quickly select the first property by pressing Alt plus 1. For the model layer, this is the position. And select the second property by pressing Alt plus 2. For the model layer, this is the rotation. Select the animation with the animation property. This model only has a single animation, so you can only turn it off and on. Adjust the animation speed with the animation speed property. From very slow to very fast. When you set the first slider to zero, you can set the frame with the second slider. This gives you full control, including playing the animation backwards. The rotation of the model joints can be adjusted with the JX props. A joint can quickly be selected by double-clicking on it with the control key pressed, and then adjusted with the three sliders. And like all properties, it can also be adjusted by clicking and dragging your mouse in the render window. No, that does not feel comfortable. The size of the joints can be adjusted with the SX props. Let's find an interesting joint. The SX prop of a joint can quickly be selected by double-clicking on it with the Alt key pressed. Hitting the right joint is easier when you temporarily turn off the animation. Add big hands. If you need confirmation you've got the right joint, check the name in the drop-down and big feet as well. Notice that pretty much everything is done with the same properties drop down and sliders. Once you know how to change one prop, you can change them all. To attach another model to a joint, 
Start by selecting the joint by double-clicking on it with the control key pressed. Attach a container layer to this joint by clicking on the Add Container Layer button. Attach a model to the container by clicking on the Add Model Layer button. Joints can have unexpected orientations. This can be corrected with the Rotation prop. Most of the time you need angles that are a multiple of 90 degrees. Scale the helmet with the size prop. Hold down the control key to move all three sliders at the same time. In the layers dropdown, you can see that the helmet is attached to the container that is attached to the model. Now, do the same trick for our alien friend Bix. Select the left hand. Check the name in the dropdown. Sometimes you have to rotate a bit to ease clicking. Attach a container. Attach Bix. Click on the App button. Rotate the model layer. Scale the model. Position it. When everything looks fine, turn the animation back on. As you can see, the attached models follow the animation. Amazing! Now it's time to make place for a text. Add a text layer by clicking on the Add Text Layer button. Edit the text in the text box. Switch to a suitable font by clicking on the Change Font button. Play around with the position, rotation, and font size props to get it right. Add a border by clicking on the Attach Border to Active Layer button. And add some extra personality with the Character Explosion prop. Make sure to select the right layer, in this case the Parent Text layer. For the background, let's add a Plasma layer. Click on the Add Plasma Layer button and select a nice preset. Nice! To promote our website, let's add a scroller layer. And as a final touch to brighten things up, add an extra point light. That's it. We hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. When you have questions, please post them in the Bluff Titler community. The link can be found in the description. There you can also download the show file and find links to the models. Thank you for watching this video. Enjoy playing with animated models.